right troops, Valdo here, in the flesh, on camera for the first time. I want to say thank you to all you buttons out there for watching my videos there the last two and a wee bit years. No, like a big huge thank you, like, oh, I want to buy a Christmas present, thank you, just a wee kind of, cheers big chat. Also, see you teachers out there who use my videos instead of doing your own teaching. I know your game, you've been rumbled big chat. Why I say respect to my nephews and my niece for going to Kirk and Talak High. Apparently your teachers don't believe I'm your uncle. I'm your uncle. Capish. Just as a wee token of gratitude and all for like, watching my videos all these years. I've got a wee special video up here dug up through the Yorker Uni Archives down in the basement. It's for a guy called Bobby Sagan who was pure bonkers so he was. But he made up some good videos and crap on physics right. This one is on four dimensional hyper whatever tests or whatever's on it. I've not got a clue. Watch yourself, big chap. Thanks again. Enjoy. Alright, you darties. Bobby Sagan here. Check out my mad polar neck and my pure 19 canteen jacket. I'm going to appear to get torn into a pure mental hang to hang about, which is pure dimensions and crap like that. Here I've got a pure crap monopoly board with all these wee mad flat shapes and stuff and this table thing is supposed to be a land called Flatland which is pure basic with no public amenities and tourist attractions to speak of so exactly what Paisley All these wee mad bottom stays jumping fat about This wee square chap is gone in his house, which is just four walls. Now see these wee man's flatlander bottoms, they've got width and they've got length, but they have bugger all height, which pure means they only exist in two dimensions. So if we were all flatlanders and all, then all we would pure days far about left or right or back and forward. We couldn't go up or down because these concepts don't exist in the two-dimensional world. Now, let's imagine a pure 3D object comes into the picture. I'm going to use this thing here. For those watching in Clyde Bank, this is called an apple. It's a bit like a bag of chips, only a bit healthier. So the wee flat square guy's in his house watching Jeremy Kyle on the flat screen TV. And the apple guy's gonna scare the crap out of him. He's pure hitting it way. Oh, wee man, I can see you. <sighs> the wee square guy's pure keeping a heavy edge on the house and he can't see who's pure said that to him. So he pure thinks somebody's pure speaking to him from inside his body. Or it might have been that kebab he had for lunch. Bobby Sagan. The 3D apple was having a right good laugh seeing the wee square getting wound up, so he pure decides to really send the crappers at him. He pure says, I'm going to pure enter the flat land. Thing is though, he's a three dimensional object and flat land is only two dimensions. And so he's going to be seen slice by slice, no as a big apple. So the first bit of the apple to become visible in flat land would be the wee tip see the bottom of it. If I pop the apple and I dot the ink and show you this, you'll get the script, you know what I mean? If the apple pure moves down, then all we can see is mad slice after slice. I'll cut the apple up to show you how far through, capish. The only thing the square's gonna see is all these different shapes and the wee house appearing one after another as the apple goes through it, his 2D world. His only conclusion would be he has gone bonkers. The apple is the too tough to be getting dingied by the square nutters, so he gives the square a doing and kicks him up into the third dimension. The square hinks, what the hell's happening man? What the, what? What was in that kebab I had? He's now in the third dimension that just doesn't happen in Flatland. 
Please let hold on a man I can pure see doing it in my house and see all my pals' bodies. He's pure living now in a dimension he's never been in before and he's thinking he's got pure x vision or some crap like that. Bobby Sagan. Then he pure falls back down to Flatland and his pals pure gather round to heavy get the script. The wee man square from their point of view just pure appeared through nowhere. He hasn't an arm, he's just comfy somewhere else and they're pure tripping and the wee squares like I was somewhere else like you know in a place called up and that his pals like aye very good ya dafty he shows them where this up is and he squares like oh can he I'm not got a clue where up is What about us then in a 3D world? Where's our next dimension up? Let's think about this glass cube the techie department downstairs made for me. A cube is a line, then another line at right angles to it to make a square. Bobby Sagan, move the square at right angles to itself and you've got a cube. No, this cube, you know, casts like a shadow. And the shadow it projects is something we can do on paper or something flat lass. All the mad lines for the real cube are pure dodgy at different sizes and angles now. That is the price you pay for displaying objects in three dimensions in a two dimension way. Right, last thing. Take the 3D cube and pure turn it 90 degrees to itself. No this way. No this way. No this way, but at right angles to all of them combined. Now I can't show you where this is, but think about it if there was a fourth physical dimension. Now if that happened, we would make a four dimensional hypercube, which is also called a tesseract. Bobby Sagan, I can't show you one because me and you are up here trapped in a three dimensional world. But the mad techie team I made what would be a three dimensional shadow that a four dimensional hypercube or tesseract would make. It's two separate cubes joined up with me mad dodgy angle lines connecting up the corners and crap. Now in four dimensions the real tesseract would have all these lines the same size and at right angles to each other. But this is all we can handle in our crappy wee three dimensions. So there you go then, we can't visualise four dimensional world but we can think about them. Sorted.